Minister Reddy, you were speaking earlier on about the challenges that you faced in, in, an, in the context of a newly formed state and trying to respond to the pandemic. Just talk to me then about how do we future-proof health systems against those kind of pandemics that you've spoken about from a governance perspective as well. As I said earlier, governments would have to be focusing on two things. One is preventive, one is preventive care and the other is curative care. And looking at this from the, uh, from the lens of uh, uh, how to improve this uh, health care, one would have to be talking about availability, accessibility of health care, and also affordability of health care. All these three would have to be moving in line. In order to do that, uh, from my state's perspective as to how we have, how, like, how we have been uh, uh, wanting to move forward is, we've taken every uh, 2,000 people, uh, every pop population with, uh, every village with 2,000 population as a unit. And we're coming up with uh, village clinics. Okay. And then uh, we're taking up every uh, 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 30,000 population as a unit, as a, a unit and uh, uh, classifying it as mandal and where we're coming up with two PHCs, uh, primary health centers. These primary health centers would have uh, uh, four doctors, two of the doctors uh, uh, present in each of the PHC center and they would be given uh, an ambulance 104 and each of this doctor would be given their designated villages. So five villages or four villages, depending on the mandal size, to each of these doctors. And these doctors, every alternate day, would hop onto the ambulance and visit the village. And they would become the family doctor for that village. Very soon, the doctors, because they've been de designated only those four villages, so they would start to identify people by names. And they would use this village clinic as a hub. This village clinic primarily would be having an A&M, uh, nursing graduate, uh, mid-level health practitioner, and ASHA workers that we spoke about also reporting there. So that would take care of the, the preventive part. Now comes the curative part. The curative part would be dealing with uh, uh, the community, with uh, uh, district hospitals, the teaching hospitals. The area, hosp area hospitals and the teaching hospitals are going to play a very critical role there. So there we are coming up with uh, uh, every parliament taken as a unit uh, we've, uh, uh, in order to ensure that there is equitable distribution of uh, teaching hospitals. Because only when you have, when you, only when you establish teaching hospitals, you have postgraduate students actually coming up there. And only when you have postgraduate students doing their course there, and these uh, teaching hospitals are connected to a, a hospital, a teaching hospital as well. So teaching college and teaching hospital together would become the tertiary care that, we're, that we are looking for. Okay. And we're coming up with the village clinics. Okay. And then uh, we're taking up every uh, 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 30,000 population as a unit, as a, a unit and uh, uh, classifying it as mandal, and where we're coming up with two PHCs, uh, primary health centers. These primary health centers would have uh, uh, four doctors, two of the doctors uh, uh, present in each of the PHC center, and they would be given uh, an ambulance, 